You described in one interview a moment before you had to go on stage and give an audition for, for, for Saturday Night Center. Live. You're standing right behind the stage door, and you've got all these portraits of the yeah. great Saturday Night Live titans, you know, yes. Belushi and Aykroyd. And right. That's the pinnacle of anxiety, totally. right? Yeah, that's one of those moments where you, you're, I mean, I don't know if you've ever literally been weak in the knees, but I literally felt like my knees were going to buckle. Really? You're trying to remember what you're going to do. You're just pacing. You're hearing the, the, the person on stage doing their audition, so you're trying to block that out. Then the doors just open, and they're like, well, yeah, come on. And it's like, okay, I, I just have to do this now. And they give you this very, these cryptic parameters, you know, a, a, a character of your choice, a, a celebrity impersonation if you have one, and a political impersonation if you have one. And if you don't have any of it, just funny. You're like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I made it through, and the word on the street was there probably was going to be a callback. And so I got the call, and like, you're, you're coming back, and this time it's going to be over two days. Lauren wants to meet you one day, and then you have the audition the next day. So that's when I walked into Lauren's office and he's like, so wh what are you going to do? And, and I go through and he's like, no, I wouldn't do that. And I would change that too. And, um, and he goes through the list. And I said, okay, so, okay, so just so I'm clear, should I just, should I just throw everything out? And in hindsight, what he was doing was actually really smart. He was forcing me to just come up with new stuff new shades, new moves, so to speak. So then I'm, I'm up till two in the morning redoing a brand new audition in my head. But that's terrifying. Yeah, because you're just alone in a hotel room talking to yourself, oh God. doing character. Yeah, so there I was that next day just by the seat of my pants doing three or four different things that I hadn't planned on doing. And I, I watched it. I, Someone has an actual tape of the audition, yeah. and it was uh, it was you playing with cat toys, yeah. and and uh, yeah. but I'm that thinking, was probably like, the that was the biggest sinking moment because here I am lying around on with cat toys on the stage where the host for Saturday Night Live delivers the monologue every week. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is the end. 